Inside a busy conveyor line, the belt runs smoothly as always, until one split-second snag in continuous motion turns the system into an unstoppable pull. Never, ever reach in to step onto or work beside a moving conveyor unless it is stopped, locked out, and verified zero energy. In a quiet truck yard at dusk, parked trailers frame a normal crossing. One vehicle rolls, momentum builds, and space disappears instantly. Don't walk or work between heavy vehicles unless all movement is stopped, secured, and controlled by clear communication. If vehicles can move, space can disappear. Stop traffic, keep clear zones, and never trust slow speed. Down a narrow warehouse aisle, racks stand tight and orderly. One lift rises too high and gravity suddenly finds a clear path down. Do not raise or travel with an elevated load unless the route is clear, the mast is stable, and the drop zone is fully controlled. A small tilt, sudden stop, uneven surface, or contact with racking shifts the center outward. Once it passes the base of support, gravity dominates and the load accelerates downward. In a tight aisle, the falling load has no clearance, so nearby structures absorb the impact as mast angle and momentum intensify the drop. Keep loads low, move deliberately, and protect the drop zone, because once balance is lost, gravity acts immediately, once balance is lost. Along a silent nighttime sidewalk, loose cables hang harmlessly, one disturbance, and stored tension snaps the line into violent motion. Secure cables, wires, and tensioned lines away from walkways, and never ever leave them exposed where movement can turn them into striking hazards. A suspended cable stores elastic energy along its length. When disturbed or pulled, that energy releases suddenly, causing the cable to whip toward its anchor point. The free section accelerates rapidly, following the shortest path allowed by tension and gravity. Because the cable is flexible and under tension, its motion is unpredictable, transferring momentum instantly into anything within its swing path. Loose lines don't stay loose, secure every cable, control tension, and never allow stored energy to hang unguarded in public spaces. Inside a delivery truck cab, a foldable seat sits where it always does, until one quick stand-up, one unnoticed fold, and the support is no longer there. Never, ever stand up from a foldable seat and sit back down without visually confirming the seat is locked, unfolded, and supporting weight. A foldable seat depends on hinges, latches, and a locked position to carry load. When it's folded, the support surface is removed and the center of support shifts to empty space. Standing up changes orientation and attention, and the brain often assumes the seat remains in the same position. When a person attempts to sit, gravity acts immediately, but there is no structure to arrest motion. If a seat can fold, the support can vanish. Look, confirm the lock, and never sit back until the surface is verified. Inside a residential driveway, a pickup sits lifted for routine work until improvised supports shifts turning stored vehicle weight into a sudden gravity hazard. Work beneath a raised vehicle only when it is supported by rated jack stands on solid ground, with improvised blocking removed and the load fully stabilized. When weight is carried by uneven or improvised materials like wood blocks, load paths become unpredictable. Small shifts in contact, compression of the material, or changes in force direction can move the center of gravity outside the support base. Once that happens, gravity converts stored energy into rapid downward motion. Because the mass is large and the distance small, the transition from stable to unstable occurs faster than corrective action can be taken. Improvised support fails without warning. Use rated stands, verify contact points, and never trust gravity to stay put. On a residential patio, an extension ladder reaches the roof edge, one small shift at the top contact, and the ladder drops away instantly. Never, ever transition from a ladder onto a roof or elevated surface unless the ladder is secured, the top is stabilized, and a proper handhold or landing platform is in place. If the ladder isn't tied off or stabilized at the top, small shifts at the contact point reduce friction at the feet and allow rotation. Once the top edge loses secure contact, gravity pulls the ladder downward while the base slides outward. With no secondary restraint, the ladder pivots and collapses rapidly, and its own mass accelerates the fall as the support points separate. Ladders are for access, not transitions. 
Secure the ladder, control the transfer point, and never step off until stability is guaranteed. Inside a dusty worksite loading area, a wheel loader climbs the trailer ramps until one misjudged excavator contact turns the cab zone into the impact path instantly. Never ever use an excavator bucket or boom to push, steady, or guide a machine up ramps and never position any cab or operator zone inside the swing, crush, or contact path during loading. Loading ramps create a steep angle where stability depends on traction, alignment, and keeping the center of gravity inside the wheelbase. As the loader climbs, weight shifts with bumps or tire slip. If an excavator bucket presses or catches it, an external force forces a pivot the loader can't dampen. Grip breaks, the ramp edge becomes a fulcrum, and momentum carries the machine offline. Ramps demand precision, not help. Load one machine at a time, keep booms and buckets off the climb, maintain clearance around the cab zone, and control alignment before motion begins. At a roadside work zone, service trucks rest behind cones. One drifting vehicle strikes, and the parked vehicle becomes a moving force in seconds. Don't position workers or equipment in an active traffic corridor unless full lane protection, buffer zones, and impact rated barriers separate vehicles from the work area. When it drifts and strikes a stationary truck, that energy transfers instantly into the parked mass. The struck vehicle surges forward and sideways, overcoming friction and tire resistance. Loose tools and cargo lag from inertia, snap restraints, and launch along the impact path, creating secondary strikes as debris hits the ground and nearby equipment. Traffic never stops being dangerous. Build distance, create buffer zones, secure every load, and assume any unprotected work area can be reached by moving vehicles at any moment. Inside a fabrication floor, a weld sticks mid-pass. One rushed grab to free the rod and stored heat turns the contact point into a danger zone instantly. Never, ever try to remove a stuck welding electrode by hand. Stop the process, isolate energy, and use tools and cooling time to break contact safely. When a welding electrode sticks, it becomes bonded to the workpiece while still carrying significant thermal energy at the contact point. The circuit can remain active or recently active, and the metal at the bond holds heat even after the arc stops. Pulling by hand adds direct contact to a hot conductive path where heat transfers immediately through conduction. A stuck weld isn't stopped. It's stored energy at the bond cut power, wait, and use tools to free it safely. On a quiet porch job, a grinder spins without issue. One bind in the cut and stored rotation snaps back instantly. Never, ever operate a handheld grinder above shoulder height or without full control of the tool, safe positioning, and kickback direction. When that disc contacts uneven stone, friction spikes instantly. The motor torque has nowhere to dissipate, so the tool reacts in the opposite direction of rotation. With arms extended and balance limited, the grinder pivots around the user's grip. Gravity, torque, and recoil combine, pulling the tool offline while the cord and body position restrict recovery. Once kickback begins, reaction time is shorter than the tool's rotational response. If a grinder can bind, it can kick back. Keep cuts below shoulder height, maintain a stable stance, control the tool's line of force, and never let rotating energy decide the outcome. At a driveway gate entrance, the steel panel slides as designed, one misalignment, and gravity turns it into a falling load without warning. Stay out of the swing and fall zone of a heavy sliding gate unless it is controlled by proper guides and stops. A sliding gate is a rigid mass designed for horizontal travel only. When load shifts off the roller path, the center of gravity moves outside the guides, creating a tipping moment. Once that alignment is lost, gravity takes over and the gate drops rapidly as mass and leverage amplify motion. A sliding gate can fall like a load. Stay clear of the fall path and secure it mechanically, never by hand. Don't forget to share what you learned. Today in the comments, your insight could save a life. Take care.